Okay, so I've just jumped into the Clover DX designer. Uh, and as mentioned, this is the integrated development environment um, <clears throat> where our business users and uh, technical users can collaborate um, to flesh out and uh, debug data pipelines. What we'll be actually looking at this in this case is, um, is a job flow. And this is our terminology for a workflow. So this is what allow, allows you to tie together a number of different individual operations um, into something more comprehensive. Uh, and again, um, allows you to create an end-to-end -end solution as opposed to just solving uh, a particular portion of it in the way that an RPA or IPA solution might allow you to do. So yeah, the, uh, the context is that we'll be looking at data quality firewall. And so we're going to be processing a number of incoming files that appear in a given directory, and that's where our workflow begins. This is going to mean running a single ETL transformation on each of the files, so processing them each individually. And the files first need to be checked to meet data quality standards before we actually process them. So it's essentially geared towards saving effort on processing files that we already know to be of low data quality. The problem or thing that we're ultimately trying to resolve is that processing of the data should be clearly and easily separated from the data quality check. We need to be able to properly track and report which of the files that we're looking at have been checked for DQ issues and which have been processed successfully uh, and which have failed. The solution that I've then designed here um, is geared towards checking the quality of the data we execute um, using uh, a particular uh, graph, so individual data pipeline, which we'll look at in a second. Um, the processing um, of the file so it is in, in the, the subsequent step and is clearly separated from that data quality. The key output then is to track the results of these various steps of the workflow um, via uh, manipulating files and moving them into special directories which we can see at the ends of these branches uh, here. So let's just go through the steps of what exactly is happening here. So firstly we're getting the uh, file path, so defining the directory that we want to look at. I'm actually just going to run this process from scratch so that we can see the, uh, the data being populated and moving through. Um, so we can see that we've defined a particular directory that we want to look at. The next thing that we're going to do is copy each of the files in question within that directory to a staging area. This is best practice so that when we are working with files, we've always got uh, a copy that we're working on as opposed to the original data before we do anything um, uh, too final with it. We can then see that we have two, uh, two files that we've passed through and to be uh, subject to the data quality check. Uh, one file uh, which we know is containing good data and one which I've deliberately uh, made uh, to fail the data quality check. <clears throat> At this point, we're gonna pass those two files into the data quality firewall. And what I'm gonna do is open the graph, so the data pipeline uh, that is underneath that particular job flow. We can see what's happened, that we have uh, one of those files has been passed through, uh, and this is the data set in question, and we're gonna run it through a profiler probe. The profiler is our in-house component, which allows you to run various statistical analysis on a data set to determine whether it's worth processing or not. So these statistical um, results determine that it's a, it's a high quality data set. We just have one uh, first name null count. So in this case, we're gonna determine that the file is not gonna be failed for bad data. And this shows the different levels of automation that we have within the Clover DX Designer. The job flow is the orchestration uh, layer. And then the graph layer here um, is the individual data pipelines that we're looking to bring together. So going back up a level, uh, we can see that one file, which is the one we just looked at, successfully passed that data quality firewall, whereas one um, ultimately didn't. The result of that is then it's moved uh, to a particular directory that we've determined. The file that we then pass on, we're going to subject to some sort of processing. That could really be uh, any number of things. It could be joining with uh, another data set. It could be enriching the data in some way. It could be um, doing some sort of business or logical processing to change the format of the data, for example. In any case, we can see that one uh, the, the one file that we submitted was successfully processed, and therefore we can move it to this dedicated process directory that we can see here. If it had failed, we've got that final um, destination for the failing data there too. So once this has been completed, we can then delete that staging area that we've created, again, all natively 
uh, from this Cloverdx job.